So I don't know if anybody has noticed this lately. I don't know if where you are at as a person that you have been seeing the same thing. But there is a huge exodus going on between people and people that are renting out apartments and stuff. The landlords, the people that own places. It's starting to get to a point where people don't want to do this anymore. People don't want to be a part of how we are doing all of what we're doing. People don't want to be a part of it no more. They're seeing what life is really about and what they want to do. And they realize that it's, it's a slave system. It's just a thing where you go to a job every day, you get paid and you got to do it over and over and over to sustain that kind of life. It's not a self-sustaining life. You're being sustained by other people, working for other people, you know, putting all your time and effort into a corporation or a person to get them more rich. And it's people are seeing this stuff, you know. And it, it's not that everybody is seeing it, though, because here is what needs to happen. Education is bullshit. Education is bullshit. We need re-education. We need to re-educate people on all of this. And see, the powers that be, the people that are rich, the people that have control of the corporations and that we go to to work for every day, they don't want you to know these things that I'm telling you. They don't want you knowing this because if you knew this, if you knew about this, you would see how you've been set up. You've been played, you've been duped, you've been led into slavery. And there was a video I was watching with Joey the Gypsy, how he was talking about how did we go from generation to generation to generation and none of our parents, none of our grandparents, none of our great grandparents have never owned a home, built a home, planted their own food, never had anything to call their own. And we're talking about thousands of years here. It's like, we're not talking about just 50 years. We're talking about generations after generations of people here. And what I know is going to happen. This is something that I, inside of my very being, it's like a knowing. People are, when I say waking up, I don't mean this woke stuff that goes around. Because believe me, if you were really awake and out of the slumber it's not what you think it is. It's not a pretty thing. It's ugly. It, when you see reality for what it really is and you see what's really going on behind the smoke screens and the facades and all the bullshit going on out here, you're never going to look at this the same again. And when you come across someone like me, if you're really listening to what I'm saying, more than likely, you will never be the same again because you're listening to someone that is not going to, you're listening to someone that's going to tell you what 99.99% of people are not telling you. So therefore, I'm going to be misunderstood. And when we misunderstand things, our fears and our insecurities and our hatreds and all that comes along with it because we don't understand what I mean. And, and, this whole thing, it's designed, it's designed and set up to keep you and I slaves to a job. It's set up that way. And we don't need to be doing this. I'm telling you, I'm not going to get too deep in this video because I've even, 
I, I don't even know if I'm going to upload this video, if I'm being honest. I'm just out here taking a walk and talking to myself. I'm doing clothes. I'm cleaning my car out because I'm ready to make a move here. I'm ready to make a big time move. Uh, and doing that, I can't make up my mind. I've been in deep thought for months about this, thinking, what do I want to do here? Because really, if you really think about it, there's only two ways that we're going to live our life. We're either going to be slaves or we're going to live a self-sustaining life. There's no in-betweens. You're either going to be a slave or you're going to be self-sustainable. And we just don't think that that can happen for us. We don't think that that's possible, that we can do that. And like, let me get back to what Joey the Gypsy was saying. He was saying about... How have we went, how have we been going for thousands of years? Think about what I'm going to say here. Think about this. If this doesn't hit home in you, then you're not listening. You're not listening to what I'm saying. How have we been going for thousands of years? Thousands of years. And we don't own anything. Who do you know that owns anything? Who in your family, the people you might call friends, people that you know, who owns anything? Yeah, you might say, oh, they own a house. They own a car. They own their property. No, they don't own it. They're paying mortgage. They're renting on it. They're paying for a car. They're doing all those things, they're paying some kind of taxes for something. This is why I keep bringing up this homestead living. Even though I'm not doing it right now, I'm planting the mental seed for other people because this needs to be heard. People have got to hear this because it's that time in our, in our life and in our world that there is this exodus going on because we're not taking responsibility and accountability for the generations of people, our own family members, that have sat and took it. See, it's time to stand up. It's time to say enough is enough with this and we need to be self-sustaining people instead of being slaves and having someone else Tell us when to do something, where to go, how to live. Oh, well, you need to fill out this paperwork to do this thing. And look, I know that there's things that you have to do, but it's still bullshit. It's all set up. It's to me, it, it's a crime. It, it's literally a crime. Like why? There's something called free land program. Free land program. Why? Why is it called a program to get land? Why do you need to go through a program to get a piece of land for yourself? And, and if I would be so bold, like I would really like to go on strike for this. I would like to get people with me, but more than likely, someone has got to be as serious as I am about it. It, it can't well, it could just be me. I could do it by myself if I wanted to. I could drive to Washington, D.C. and stand out there and say, I want free land. I want a piece of land. I don't want to have to do paperwork. Why should I have to pay for dirt and water and grass and trees around me? Why should I have to pay for that? Why? Why? See, we don't think of it like this because we're so enslaved. We're so in bondage towards the powers that be and the people that have been running this. And, and we just, we're scared. We're terrified. We're in fear. We don't think that we can do any of this because it's not something that we know about because nobody's telling us about it. And I know people, when you watch my videos, you might say, well, you're not doing it either. You're not doing it. So you're in fear, you know, you're, you're hesitating. The reason that I'm hesitating, there's a reason. I don't have the resources to do it. That's why I'm hesitating. I don't have 
the, the, the people to do it. Because like I said, it got to be serious people. It has to be people that are as serious as what I am about this. And that's why I'm putting it out there now so that in the future, this seed can get into the mind. Because see, here's what happened with me. My grandfather was someone that built stuff. And my grandfather built a cabin across the river that we used to go to. And my grandfather planted this seed in me all throughout my life to be like this. But when he died, something happened when he died. Back in January, when he died, I had some kind of vision in my head because I talked with him before he died and he said that I could have his tools. So I got a vision in my head. I said, why did my grandfather, why did he never go and build his own thing? Why did he keep paying mortgage and property tax and all this stuff in his life? It doesn't make any sense. Like he could have got together with some friends because my pop was somebody that that uh, had a lot of people that he talked to. He's a very kind man. He gave people stuff. He gave rides. He did so much stuff for people. But see, my grandfather, he didn't have the vision like I have the vision for this. That's the thing he was lacking. He didn't have the vision for it. And he didn't do it. And I, I asked myself, I said, why did he never do this? Why? He could have literally went and bought a piece of land, saved up to buy a piece of land, and sacrificed. See, he could have sacrificed having maybe a little less food on the table for the kids and not buying so much stuff, not having a swimming pool, and sacrificed that for saving up money to get a piece of land and build his own thing. He could have built a house in... I don't know, a couple months, you know, it wouldn't have been that long. And I'm just saying to myself, why didn't he do this? And what it comes from is he didn't, he didn't have the, the knowledge and he didn't have the vision in him. And I'm not doing this despite my grandfather. You know, I would never do that to my grandfather. My grandfather provided a place for me when I was in my drug addiction and I was all messed up. So... I'm thankful for him and like he planted this in me and this took me on a chorus like the last seven, eight months. It's why I went to this job that I was at because I said, this is stupid. This is dumb to keep living this way when there's another way to live. And I know there's another way to live. It, it's just, see, I, I think a lot of people have not gotten to the point in their lives, they're not seeing the whole picture here. We're not seeing the whole picture as a whole. We're just seeing parts of it. And we're still thinking that money is the key to everything. It's not. It's not. See, I even have something like we need to go back in the days where we were trading stuff. You see, we plant food and we grow food and we have other people that do that and we trade things. We trade seeds and we trade fruit and we trade, uh, you know, things that we need. And it's when you do that, you don't need money. When you're living off the land and you're doing your own thing and you're building your own thing, you might need money for some time. But there comes a time when you have the things you need, when you have the necessary things. You do not need money anymore. You might need money for like small material things that you need from the store. You know what I mean? I'm not saying as long as the system is here and as long as money is here. Listen, you have to understand something with me. I am not. See, this, this is so hard. This is what's hard to explain to people. I am not saying that money is a tool to be used to get what we need. Money is a tool for needs. Money helps you get things you need, even though it's a piece of paper. We know that paper is worthless. It can't do nothing. The only thing we can do is burn it on a desert island if we were uh, cold. 
it'd be good for nothing. You can't do nothing with gold, money, jewelry on a desert island. You can't do nothing with it. What matters is food, water, and shelter, and health. That's all that matters while we're here. So this knocks out the food, the shelter. Now, the fresh water, getting fresh water to drink that's where you'll have to maybe spend money to get some kind of water filtration system or something like that. And uh, the other thing, food, water, our health. We might have to go to a doctor. We might have to go to a hospital. We know that we're going to have to do those things. You understand what I'm saying here? And I don't want to get too deep in this because, like I said, I'm... <laughs> I'm sitting here, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to make my mind up what I want to do here, how I want to go about doing this because I'm serious about this. If I had the ability to, ha to know somebody out in oblivion, wherever that person would be, if someone wealthy would come across my channel or someone that already has resources and they know how to plant food. They know how to build houses. They know how to uh, do certain things, survival things, self-sustaining things. I am telling you that I am ready to do something. And if you are willing, if you are willing to give to this, it's all for the refuge. It's not for me. It's not for clothes. It's not for cars. It's not for, uh, you know, jewelry. It's not for any of that. It is for me to build a refuge so that I can show people that it can be done. Because to me, this is what men are missing. This is what men are missing in their life. They're missing a craft. They're missing something to work on that they can call their own at the end of the day. They're missing working and putting all their effort into a place that they can call their own so that at the end of the day, when the harvest comes, then you could say, damn, I did that with my own hands. I did that with these. And this is my thing. And it's, it is. It's something to be proud of. That is something that we should be proud of. You know, you're not proud when you're going to some job at seven in the morning and, and you're working for a corporation and you're getting another man or woman rich. You're completely miserable. You got to go to the store to get food. You don't even want to go to the damn store. You don't want to even be around people. You don't even know people. Like when you're at a place, you can know the people you can form a true human connection with the people. You can uh, be accountable towards each other. See, and this is where all this comes into play. You're responsible, you'll have discipline there. It's something that you, when you wake up, you go, okay, it's time to do this for the sake of our needs, but we're doing this. We're putting in the time and effort for our own thing. And this is what we're lacking. This is what we're missing. I'm telling you, it is getting back to the homestead living. It's getting back to making a refuge and providing a place for ourselves that we can call our own. That is what is missing here in most of our lives. I'm telling you, I know it's what's missing because this is what I've been missing my whole life. My entire life, this is what I've been missing is this, I just couldn't put the pieces together. It's so crystal clear to me right now. It's so crystal clear how we've designed this as people, we've enslaved ourselves. We enslaved ourselves to the dollar bill and corporations. We've, we did this, we did this. Now we have to get ourselves out of it. But see, nobody wants us to do that. Nobody wants you doing that. They don't even want you thinking about it. I'm just doing this video to get you to think about it. 
That's all, because I'm not doing it yet, so I'm not leading the way to show people. So therefore, people are going to go, oh, well, you're full of shit. You know, you're just sitting here talking about it. You're just speaking about it. You know what? You know, if you're not doing it, then why are you speaking? Why are you even saying anything? But that's cool, because nothing's going to stop my vision for this. It, it, it can't stop, because it's the last resort for me. I know there's nothing left. There's nothing out here. It's all it is, is houses, people going to a job, people going to the store to get food, people coming back home. That's all that it's ever gonna be. So why not have somewhere where we can say, this is mine, I did this at the end of the day. And know that when, if shit goes awry, then you say, well, I got some of my own food. I got my own place that I built. And look, we think that this is so hard and impossible. That's, that's an excuse that people use. They say, oh, well, yeah, it's a lot harder than what you think, you know? This is even something that my mom says to me when I bring this up. She says, well, Nathan, you don't have the money. I said, yeah, I know I don't. I know I don't. Hey, Bill Gates, if you're listening to this, brother, if you could donate something to me, I'd appreciate it. Warren Buffett, whoever, I don't know, whoever watches this and you're rich, if you can make a hefty donation and you can let me know that, that that's possible, I would be willing to take it because I know what I'm going to use it for. And, and, you know, why we're so scared to ask to people for people to give to something. I'm not scared to ask people to give. Why should I be? You know, if somebody has it like that, then why wouldn't you give to someone that is going to put it towards something to show people how to be self-sustainable? Why wouldn't you do it? It doesn't make sense not to do it. See, that just goes to show you the mindset of where we're at. And this is why I say education needs to go. The, ed the, the education that we know right now is complete BS. What has school ever done for you and me? Let me know one thing that school has ever done for you. Seriously, one thing school has done for you. <laughs> I'm waiting. What has it done? Taught you things about history? Taught you about slavery and the wars and all of that? Well, why do you think that happened? Because of ignorant men, because of money, because of all the stuff that is still happening today that we're still doing, that nobody is taking accountability before, of account, taking accountability for. There's no, everybody's in denial of this. Nobody wants to change anything. And then we keep living like this. We keep doing this. Every generation, we keep doing this. Now I'm talking about my generation here. I'm talking about for the people that will be alive if I get to the average male age, those people, because me, I'm not having kids. So my generation is not going to go on. I'm just speaking for the people that are alive now and that are gonna be alive for the next, you know, 30, 40, 50 years. Because I'm telling you, listen to what I'm saying here. We do not have a lot of time on this planet anyway, people. You're going to be here for some decades, you know. I'm sorry, but it's time to swallow the truth. We need to quit running from ourselves. We need to quit hiding behind a screen. We need to quit thinking that there's answers on social media. There's no answers on social media. None. None at all. It's actually, it's a cesspool. Social media is a cesspool. It's a cesspool of people that don't know nothing everybody's just looking to be entertained and and whatever and look i'm not being a hypocrite i'm kind of an entertainer myself in a way but i'm not the entertainer that people think i'm a knowledgeable entertainer i'm someone that i that i give you truth i give you knowledge with my entertainment if i do do that you know it ain't that i'm doing it just to uh you know say look at me ain't i so funny ain't i impressing you dancing like a monkey you know I'm not saying that I don't have fun I'm not saying that I'm some stiff-necked guy but listen 
this is, this is not the time for games. This is not a time for fun and games in our life. It's just not that time. And y'all know it. A lot of y'all know that it's not that time. It's time to get serious right now. It's time to get dead ass serious. And me, I'm getting dead ass serious. But see, the reason I'm hesitating uploading a video is because I'm tired of talking about it, you see. I don't want to talk about it. I want to put something into action. And doing that, I'm not going to lie. Look, I don't know everything. I don't know everything that I'm doing. But I'm willing to take the action if I have the available resources. If I have someone that's willing to be... See, it got to be someone that, is, like I said, is as serious as what I am. It can't just be like a hobby thing. It can't just be like, oh, yeah, that sounds like a really good idea. Like, it, it can't be that. It got to be something that you have been meditating on for months or years. Like, you have been in deep thought with. That you've been, like, planning in your mind. That you've been thinking, you know, this is going to happen. Uh, I have a vision for it. You know what I'm saying? And that's the part that's hard. You see, that's the part that's hard is getting the necessary people. That's the part that is the hardest because everybody, you know, lives in different places and I don't really know anybody in my life right now. I don't know anybody. So that's why I'm doing this video. That's why I'm making this video because what I'm hoping for, this is what I'm hoping for is that someone comes across my channel. I don't know who it is. I have no idea. I'm hoping someone that is already wealthy or someone that is already rich or someone that has the resources that is willing to donate, that is willing to give to the refuge that I'm trying to build. That is my hope. That is actually the biggest hope that I have right now is that that happens because if I have to go, I'm just being dead ass serious right now. If I have to go to a job to save up money to make this happen, I will be working for the next 10, 15, 20 years to do that. I just don't have time to do it. You understand? I don't have time. It, it, it's something that if Everybody would chip in and like people that are really serious about it. And it doesn't even have to be me. It could be other people to do this with other people that they know, with other like-minded people. You see what I'm saying? I'm doing this for other people too. I'm not saying that it's going to work with me and whoever else. But that is the only thing because if I go to some job, I'm going to have to, you know how long it's going to take me to save up to if I wouldn't get a free land program and fill out an application and get accepted because I think you have to have money already. You have to have money saved up and then you have to build in a certain time. But that's not the problem. I don't care about the time limit. I don't care if I have 12 months or 18 months to start building. That's way more than enough time because I'll start doing something right away. It, it ain't going to be months. It's going to be right away if, if I could do it. If I could make it happen and I could take some tools to the place and get some wood and have a truck to do it and whatever, I could make it happen. You know, it's not, it's not impossible. It is not what people think, man. I'm telling you, we just say, oh, it's, but it's too hard. You know, oh, well, you need a ton of money. Yeah, you do need money and resources. But what I mean is money is not the, money is just a tool to get the things that need to be got. You understand? And don't, like I said, the only thing I can hope for is that somebody makes a really big donation. That is the only thing that I can really hope for because I'm looking into other things. Don't get me wrong. I'm looking into other things. And I know how this all sounds. I know that this sounds to some people, you're like, you're a beggar. You know, you don't want to work for what you want to get. It's not like that. It's not like that. I do want to work for what 
I want to get and what I want to build. It's just if I go to some job and slave away, I will be an old man before I can do this. And I'm not going to want to do it. If I'm being honest, I'm not going to want to do it because my health is not the greatest anyway. If I'm being honest, my health is not 100%. You know, I went through drug addiction. I'm not doing drugs now. I'm not into drugs at all. So don't ever think if you think that I'm still a drug addict, I don't mess with any drugs. I don't, I hardly drink coffee. I drink Folgers instant coffee. So it's, it's not about that. You know, it's anyway, I lost train of thought, but listen, if I don't expose this and I don't expose myself and I don't start putting it out more than nobody's going to know about it. Nobody's going to be able to even come across my video. And I don't know what to name this. I don't know what to call it. I don't know where to put it out. I don't even know who I'm talking to. <laughs> I'm just, I'm at, I'm in a, I'm in a freaking apartment where I live. It's a one room bedroom apartment. I have a car that's about to break down. I'm, I'm packing stuff up in my room right now. I'm getting everything together. I'm, I just cleaned my car out and I'm just, I'm ready to make a move here. It's, it has come to the end of the road in this time in my life, in this place. And I just don't wanna keep living this way anymore because I know that there's another way. I know there's another way and you have to start from somewhere. We have to start from somewhere. I have to start from somewhere. So I don't really, I don't know how to start it. And I have to let my pride down. See, that's the thing. Us men too, we don't know how to let our pride down with anything. We don't know how to ask for anything. We don't know how to say, look, I need help to do what I know that I'm going to do if I get the help. If I get the help, I'm going to do this. I know I'm going to do it. And I can't say that I'm gonna have faith because, you know, that's gonna be up to a person. That's gonna be up to somebody that, that I might get lucky, which I don't know. I don't know if that will happen or not, but I know that it can be done. I know it can be done. It's not impossible. It's not impossible. And I wanted to get deeper into how We've been, all of us have been set up. We have been duped. We have been played. We have been put in a situation where, let me ask you something. This is what I'm going to end the video with. This is what I wanted to talk about. The powers that be, the people that control everything, the people that set all this up, that have all this put together, all of this constructed, what do you think that they are doing in their spare time? What do you think that they're doing behind closed doors every day? They're living a rich lifestyle and they are planning all the time on how to keep us in line with this whole thing. That's what they're doing. That's what they're doing all the time. And they're, they're years ahead of the game. They're always thinking, well, we can't let uh, people know that there's a self-sustainable way. We can't let people know that. We got to keep the people in their place. We got to keep the people where they're at. You don't think that this was all pre-planned? You don't think that this was all set up to happen? If you don't know that, you are absolutely blind, my friend. If you don't know that this whole thing was constructed, even back before 1776, when this independent, you know, declaration of independence and the money system started, and I don't know if it started before that. It might have started before that, but I'm not exactly sure the date. But you don't think that they didn't plan this? It was already being planned and it's still going till today. <laughs> 
See, we need to wake up out the slumber, y'all, and we need to become self-sustainable people. That's why we're so miserable here. It's, it's some of the reason. It's most of the reason to me. It's what I truly, truly believe. Most of the reason why we're so miserable is because we don't work for our own. We don't toil for our own. We don't put in the effort for our own. We don't have our own. We don't dig our own, we don't build our own, we don't talk with our own, we don't communicate with our own. <laughs> it's nothing that we can say it was from our own hands that we did this. And then, see, that's why a harvest is so special when you're someone that is putting in the time and the work and the energy and you're putting your life, everything that you have into that thing into that craft so when the harvest comes you go let's celebrate i did this that is the celebration you see what i'm saying that's what i'm saying there's a time to take it serious so that when the time comes you celebrate and say damn we did this i did this with my hands i built this and that to me that excites me i don't know about other people but that excites me and this is something, us men, this is something that will attract women to you. This is what women want to see in men. This is what women crave in men. This is what women are desperately looking for, is men to start their own thing, to start their own refuge. That's what women want. That's what women are missing today. Why do you think everything is so messed up today? Just look at it all. We, we, you, you can't see what is going on here. You haven't seen what is going on in this world lately. It's a freaking disaster right now because we have lost our way. We need to go back to the times of old the way we were doing things, this does not work. It doesn't work and it's not going to work. Sooner or later, it's gonna collapse. The tower is going to collapse on itself. And that's why self-sustainability, when the tower, if something does collapse, at least the land is there for us. The land will provide. The land does not need money. Money doesn't grow on trees, food does. You see, this is ridiculous. Money, well, money don't grow on trees, you know. No, it doesn't, and this is stupid. See, this is how ignorant and stupid we are. This is what our parents said, and our relatives, and our cousins, and our grandparents. Well, money doesn't grow on trees, and you and I gotta go to work to get it. No, we don't, we don't. We could have started our own thing way long ago, but nobody did it. Nobody got together and said, uh, we can do this together. Uh, Tom, do you have some tools? Sean, do you have some tools? Let's start digging, get some seeds. Is there a, a creek nearby? Is there a stream? Is there, uh, is there wood? Let's start cutting it up into pieces and put it together. Like, it, yes, it would take time. It would take more time back then but that is what was to live for when you were alive. <laughs> oh my gosh, if I'm not talking to somebody out there, I don't even know what I'm doing here anymore. I honestly don't even know why I'm even making videos anymore if I'm not talking to someone. And, and you know, listen, it's nothing against anybody watching this video, but I know that the crowd that I think I've drawn on my channel you're, you were kind of looking for philosophical videos, videos about life and all the ills of the world. And listen, I still know about all that. That's still going to go in my art and my music and my writing and everything. But now is not the time for certain things. Like I said, this is not a time for internet games and gossip and all this dumb shit, like it's time to start acting upon something. And I'm saying this for myself in this video. I'm calling myself out. I'm not even speaking for anybody else. I'm, even though I'm speaking for everybody and I'm speaking as a whole to the whole world, this whole realm, 
but I'm speaking to myself right now because if I don't make the move and if I don't do little steps and, and if I keep procrastinating, see, this is my biggest fear is that where are the people that are as serious as what I am about this? This is where I say, well, there's not too many homesteaders in the world right now. So if there's not too many homesteaders now, if there's not too many people that own something now, that plant food now, that know how to build houses or huts or sheds or whatever now, if there's people that don't know about agriculture and irrigation and planting seeds and about plants and just everything you can think of, survival stuff, then I say to myself, there's so few people that are really into this today because nobody's talking about it. Nobody's uh, spewing the knowledge. Nobody is putting it out there because it's a fear thing and it's a not knowing thing because nobody is speaking to anyone about it. Because nobody's learning about it. You know, we're all just on the internet playing games and watching people entertain you and, and doing all these things that in years to come, that is not going to do anything for you. You know, sitting on a couch, eating potato chips, playing video games, and I don't know, gossiping on the internet. Dude, that is, that, that shit is absolutely dead for someone like me. I don't do any of that stuff. When I'm on the internet, I'm either doing research or I'm thinking, I'm in deep thought about what it is that I know that I'm going to do only if I get what I need to do it. And... I know that part is that part is the part that I have no idea because it's it's not the pieces are not going to come together like I think they should come together because I know that's not reality. You see? And that's the most frustrating part is letting my pride down as a person. You see, I got to let my pride down here and I got to reach out to more uh, people, places and things, which is going to be hard for me too, because I don't trust people. I don't know people's motives and intentions. I don't know what people do in their personal life. I don't know people. I don't, I don't know anything about anybody. So that's what is going to be the hardest part is, is that, you see, <laughs> So I don't know, look. It will happen, it will happen. It will happen, it will happen. Because that's what I've been writing in my notebooks and I wanna put this out there to y'all. What I've been writing is things like, it will happen. It's going to come. I am going to get. See, this is what I'm telling my mind. I'm, I'm training my mind. I'm exercising my mind. You see, I'm, I'm telling myself these things even though they're not happening right now. I'm telling myself this stuff. You understand? Um, I'm doing the, uh, the law of whatever it is, attraction or whatever. I'm speaking it. I'm thinking it. And like I said, I have been in such a negative pattern of thinking for so long in drug addiction way back and just a whole bunch of other things. But see, don't, don't get it wrong though. When I say negative, I have a misanthropic side too because I love, I love y'all out there, but I hate your stupidity and ignorance. You see what I'm saying? I, I love people, but when, they, when that stupidity and ignorance and dumb stuff comes, I hate that stuff. So it's this thing that, yes, it's the, it's the thing. It's all the other things that go into it too. It's not just that either. It's got to be a mindset, a mind state. You know, people have got to know themselves. They have got to be responsible, accountable, disciplined people. It can't just be someone that is, you know, that lives in a pigsty, that doesn't clean up after themselves that takes no responsibility for themselves. It can't be people like that. It just can't, it can't work. 
So that's the hardest part. But it's got to be said. It's going to have to be said eventually anyway, because there's got to be confrontation. There's, there's going to be confrontation. There's ha there has to be communication. There's got to be some form of someone that, and, and how I wanted it to go, if I'm being honest, I wanted to find someone that is already doing it and I could go there to help them do what they're doing and add on to something and say, hey, well, let's do this and let's build this here and uh, how about we do this? Has someone thought of this? See, I really, starting it from the ground up is the thing that is, for me, it, like I said, it's the hardest part because how can I say this? I don't want to be telling other people what to do. I don't want to, because I am not an alpha male. I am a sigma male. I'm someone that knows what I want to do. I know how I want things to be. And this is what I'm hoping for y'all out there is that I'm planting the seed for other men and women. That is what I'm hoping for, if anything. If I have any hope in this world, that's the only hope that I have is that there is someone that will, that, that it will happen naturally. You see, that it will happen like, like some, I don't know, I don't know the word. Like it'll come together somehow. Like I'll trust that the universe, even though I know this sounds superstitious, I want to trust that the universe will bring the people that is needed, that it will happen how it's supposed to happen. You know what I'm saying? And I don't want to get, I don't want to speak uh, religiously or superstitiously or any of that. I don't want it to sound that way, but I don't know. I'm just being honest here. I'm just being honest. And this is, this is only a small part of what I really, really wanted to say about this. This is only a very, very small part. Because getting into all the little details, it's, it's a lot more that goes into it than what I'm saying. The, this is just the outside of the manifesto, kind of. This is just the, uh, the preparation part. You know, this isn't the part that goes into doing all the little things and the responsibilities and the accountability that needs to go on and the discipline and the people not doing it as a hobby, but saying, I'm willing to do this every day. I'm willing to do this like how I go to a job and work, but I'll know that it's different. It's different. It's not a job. Yes, it's working, but it's not a job. It's something, like I said, where you're providing for yourself. It's about the refuge. It's about the commune. It's about the place. It's about that thing alone. And if that doesn't mean something, then I don't know what life means. I, I really don't. Because how I see it lately, yet again, there's two ways that we're going to live life. We're either going to be a slave the rest of our life or we're going to be self-sustainable. I don't see it any other way. I just don't, I can't. I can't see it any other way. And I don't believe there is any other way. I think we're either gonna be slaves or we're gonna be self-sustainable. Now, I know you can't get away from it completely. I understand that. I understand that you're gonna have to go to a doctor when you get sick, unless you have a doctor with you at a place as which that's what I'm hoping for. I'm hoping to get doctors. I'm hoping to get people that I can form a connection with that can be a doctor to help me when I need help. I don't want to go to a hospital. I don't want to go to an emergency room. I don't want to have to go to some person that I don't even know. I want to say, hey, brother, I'm not feeling good. Can you help me? Say, sister, I need your help today or whatever. You know, I just... I just say brother and sister to make it like, almost like we're a family member, that we have an understanding of each other. You see, I don't wanna play this worldly game anymore out here. I, I wanna have it to where I'm around people I can trust, people that I can depend on, people that when I need something done, I know that it's gonna get done. 
They're not going to bullshit me. They're not going to lie. They're not going to play games. They're not going to put on. They're not going to smile in your face if they're not feeling right. I'm tired of that world. I'm tired of those kinds of people and that facade that everybody puts on. I don't want to live in that realm anymore. I'm done with that realm. I'm done with that realm. So anyway, I'm going in circles now. I, I didn't want to keep going, but the only way that I can make anybody understand is if I get the point across. And even if you get to this part in the video, because I know a lot of people, they're probably listening and they're probably going, ah, yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. You've been saying that for months now and years and you never did anything. So, you know, you're probably like, oh, well, I lost trust in you or whatever. You know, you've been saying this for how long and you didn't do anything. You're still in the same place and all this. Yeah, that's true. That's true. And I, like I said, I'm willing to take accountability for myself and my actions. And I know I've been procrastinating. I've been, uh, I've been doing a lot of things that have not been getting me to that place in my mind, to that vision that I'm talking about that I do have. But I don't know. It's a very strange thing. It is, this happened at the beginning of this year, maybe before it. I don't know. I don't know exactly when, but I know when my grandfather died, something in me just snapped. I said, enough, enough is enough. This is done. I said, none of this makes sense. None of this makes sense at all to me, at all. And I said, this is not right. I said, there's got to be another way. I said, there has got to be something that we're doing wrong here in our lives. And it just, it became crystal clear to me. It became so crystal clear. It's literally, I can't see the crystal ball because I'm looking right through it now. I'm not seeing a ball in front of me that's filled with stuff, that's blinding my vision or, or blocking my sight. I can see right through it and I'm past it. I'm not on that brick wall. I'm not behind that smoke screen anymore if I'm making sense. I'm beyond it. I'm on another paradigm. I'm on another plane of existence of thinking. I'm not, and I'm not even going to use these words like matrix and system and you know this realm of what people think is how to be and all this stuff you know i'm not going to get too deep into the words but there are very few people in this world that ever do something different that ever get to something that nobody else is doing and they have the courage to make it happen. And I gotta admit, all of us have fears. All of us have insecurities. But you have to understand, fear and insecurities comes from misunderstanding. It comes from what we don't understand. That stuff, why do you think you, if you're someone that hides behind a screen Stop hiding behind a screen. That's just your insecurities. That's your fear. That, that's those things keeping you in that paralyzed place. If you're someone that suffers with uh, chronic health problems or chronic mental issues, that's because of fear. It is a fear thing. It's a not knowing thing. Because once you know, it's going to make you move. It's going to make you move. It's going to make you say something's not right. It's going to make you say, I've got to do something about my situation. And like I said, I don't want to get too deep. But see, this is how I am, though. I can't help it because if I talk about this, then I got to talk about the other things with our mind because some people might not be to this understanding yet. They might say, well... I'm good. Like I, I'm good at the job I'm at. I, uh, I don't see it the way you do. Listen, this is not for everybody. This is not for everybody. It's not going to be the entire world. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's going to be a select few of people, but it doesn't have to be though, is what I'm saying. It doesn't have to be a select few of people. 
See, as long as we keep using the excuse of, oh, but you know, it's way harder. It's way harder than what you think. But you don't have the money. But who's going to help you with it? See, all those things are just fear tactics. They're fear tactics to keep us stuck in the same miserable life we're living, the same miserable job we go to, and then we're just getting one of a couple people rich, we're serving the corporations, and they're making it big, and we're just getting by. It makes no sense, people. I mean, this is, to me, this is absurd. It is, it's almost like a crime, if you ask me. It's, rich people are a waste. They're a waste. They're a waste. What do they do? They got billions of dollars. Billions of dollars. Why do you need billions of dollars? Why does any one person need to be a billionaire? It's just, it's just not right. It's just not right. And I don't care what anybody says. It's not right. And most of us know it, but we're too scared to speak up about it. We're too scared to stand up for something. We're too scared to build something. We're too scared to get with other like-minded people. And listen, I'm even talking about myself. I'm even talking about my own shit and how I think and the habits I got to get out of and the way I got to stop thinking because it's just holding me back. And it's stupid. It's stupid. It's me doing it. It's me doing it. But I don't know. Look, that's where I'm at. I am at least willing and I know it, believe me, it even kind of makes me cringe, but at the same time, I'm not scared to ask someone who has it to give. If you can make this happen for me, then I am willing to accept anything that anybody gives. I'm willing to accept it because it will be used for that. It will be used for the refuge. It will be used to build and plant and to cultivate and to do all the things that I talked about. I don't care anything about jewelry and cars and clothes and all that stuff. I don't care about those things. That's not important to me at all. You can have all the gold. Just give me enough gold that I can have enough money to go get the tools and the piece of land that I need. And that's all I want. I don't want the gold. You can have all the gold. You can have all the money. You can have all the clothes, the cars, the mansions. I don't want none of that stuff. And see, if you think like that, I don't know. I'm not going to sit here and preach, but this is what they got us thinking is to get rich, get more money, get rich. What is that going to do at the end of the day? Yeah, you might be able to get some stuff that you need. You might be able to take your family out to eat and you might be able to, you know, go on a yacht and a boat, but it's. It's so self-serving. It's so overindulging in things, you know. It, it just, to me, that is not the way that I see life for myself. I see life as doing my own work, doing my own, putting my own effort into something, you see. Putting all of myself into a craft, into the craft, into a refuge, into a place that's all that I can see now. I can't see anything else. And I'm just wondering, are there people out there that are, are, that are as serious as me that are already doing it? If there's somebody that's already doing this, please let yourself be known. I want to know you. If you're someone that is planting and you build and you have something going, please reach out. Write a comment. Let me know something. I, I need to know. That's the place where I'm at. I want to know. I'm desperate to know. I'll even say I'm desperate. I don't like using that word, but I'm hungry to do it, basically. I'm hungry like I haven't ate in a month. That's how hungry I am. And it might not seem like it, but I am. I am. It's germinating in me. It's like it's on fire, but I don't have the outlet to do it now. And that's the most frustrating part. So here I am. 
here I am in all my naked glory. Here I am in all of my shit. Here I am in everything that I know. And that's what it is right now. You know, and I got other things too. It's not, it's not just that. It's, I got other things I want to do with art stuff. And if I would get a piece of land, I got things that I want to do on the land. It ain't just building a hut and planting food. I got so many other things I want to do. I want to do artistical things. I want to uh, make an, a place that can kind of be like a recreational museum place. Like I got so much stuff that I want to do. If only I had the resources. If only I had people I can trust, people that are hungry, people that are as serious as I am to come along and, and, and help do this and have a true human connection and have someone that we can go to when we really need something. But man, it's like in this world nowadays, I'm just listening to how people are talking and the things people are saying and what's coming out of their mouth. And I'm like, I just don't know, man. It's, it's, it's like, what can I do with another person? You know, that's why I said, these are the most important words I'm going to leave you with. Responsibility, accountability, self-sustainability, and discipline. If we don't have those things, we have nothing. And, and another thing, people that already have a craft, people that, that have in the, the knowledge that are actually doing these things, this is the people I'm most interested in right now because first, it has to be started. You can't just say, hey, welcome everybody, and you have nothing. Like, it, it doesn't, I know, I'm not dumb. I know that it doesn't work like that. I'm smart enough to know that for myself. I know that it just doesn't happen like that. But yet again, it can happen like that. If there would be people to take action, if there would be someone that would be watching me, that would be willing to donate to me, that would be willing to go to my PayPal and say, well, look, I trust this guy because I'm not lying. I'm not bullshitting here. I'm not hiding anything from anybody. I ain't using the money for anything of my own. It would only be used in the meantime for my rent or with my car or what I need, the things that I need, food, shelter, and things that I might need, accessories that I might really need to have. Like I'm not spending money on anything material right now. So look, I don't, like I said, I don't even know if I'm going to upload this video, if I'm being honest. I really don't. Because this is why I've been hesitating to make a video like this. Because if I talk about it and I don't do nothing, then I've wasted an hour and three minutes of my time. But it got to be something slow, though. It can't just happen right away. It, it, it's got, it's going to take time. It's going to take someone willing to invest in something. It's going to take uh, some effort. It's going to take, like I said, it's going to take people that are serious about it. And when I say it like this and I look down and I'm thinking like this, I'm just thinking like, damn, I wish this could just happen already. I wish that this could start. I wish that someone else had a vision out there. I just, but I've been looking and I've been looking and all that I can find is these other homesteads that they already have something going, but it's, there's something about it that it isn't for me. It, it's not a place for me. It's either too far away or it's, you either have to have a bunch of money already, which I don't have, so therefore I can't do. So then I'm like, well, 
I guess I got to look some more, but it's like I'm tired of looking. Like I thought that I found, I thought that I found a place called Little Creek Monastery in, I think it's California or something, but it's a jiu-jitsu guy. If he wasn't, because I'm not a person that's going to probably do jiu-jitsu. I mean, I wouldn't mind learning some of it and uh, practicing the art a little bit, but I'm not really into karate stuff right now, if I'm being uh, honest. But they do everything else. You know, but I reached out, but they never reached back to me. So that's very disappointing because I wrote a big thing because I'm serious. And I wrote a big thing saying, you know, hi, my name is, you know, Nathan. And I, you know, I, this is what I do. This is what I want to do. This is what I'm hoping for. This is my, this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. And I put it all out, but they didn't respond back. So why they didn't respond back, I guess that whatever I was saying was either too real and too honest and too to the point. And maybe they can't handle that. Or maybe I'm just, too much of something. I don't know. Or maybe I'm just not what they're looking for. But it's very discouraging when you do that and nobody reaches back. And But see, that's got to happen, though. You know, I'm not mad. It's just, I'm like, my goodness, you know, when is this going to happen? And then the more that I tell myself this, I'm saying, Nate, you got to make it happen somehow. You got to make it happen somehow. You've got to make it happen somehow, Nate. You've got to make it happen. But then I keep getting tangled in this web of saying, well, what am I going to do when I do this? And then the questions start coming and, I, and I'm saying and I'm doubting a little bit and that's what's holding me back. I just want to really get in my car and go if I'm being honest. But then I say, well, where am I going to drive? Where am I going to go? Like, that's why I'm just hoping somebody in oblivion online or the internet comes across this. If, even if they get to the, in, into the video at all, you know, I don't know. Because I don't have a, a, a speaking voice or a character where people stay listening to me for a long time. I can keep people's attention for about five, ten minutes and then they're kind of dead to what I'm saying. Because I don't have that kind of voice to speak to people, but I know how to speak though but I don't know. I know, but I don't know. See, I do know. I do know what I want to do. <laughs> but I, when I say I don't know, it's that I don't have what I need to do it. That's the most discouraging part. So anyway, look, I'm going to let everybody go with that. If you're someone that comes across my video and you're willing to help me, I cannot tell you how much I appreciate it. I really can't. Words can't describe if you help me as a person. I cannot tell you through words what that's going to do for my life and what it's going to do for a place that I want to build to show other people that it can be done. I ain't just doing it for me. You see, this, this is the misconception too. I'm actually doing it to show other like-minded people or people that don't even know about such a thing that they don't think there's any other way to live. I want to show people that there's another way to live. That is my vision. That's why I keep bringing it up. And that's why if I could just get one person, one person out there to help me, to give and say, this is a gift to you. You see what I'm saying? Here is something. I'm giving it to you and let me do whatever with it and not wanting anything in return. The only thing I can give in return is thank you, is that I will show you that I'm serious with what I'm saying. And I know someone probably doesn't know me from a can of paint. They're thinking, well, who's this guy? I don't know you. I don't know nothing about you. I'm telling you everything about me. I'm telling you what I think every day. I'm telling you what I resonate on 24 hours a day when I'm not sleeping and I'm not having bad dreams and I'm not having horrible nightmares. This is what I'm thinking about. So thank you. Take care. Be as well as you can. I do love you all, but I hate your stupidity and ignorance because I hate everybody's stupidity and ignorance.
because I know that we can know something else here is all I'm saying. So thank you, take care, and I will see y'all whenever I see you again. Later.